a plain stimulus gets the body for what it's going to do next. And there is the progress being made from the information being received from the brain. Time being more beneficial and less as a stimulus. <laughs> People trying to do time travel theoretically and hypothetically, philosophically and mentally and psychologically. The more appreciation with the stimulus, the more gratitude, the more satisfaction, the more calm, the more relaxed, and far less frantic and far less chaotic and far less psychedelic and futuristic. And with a lot more weirdness, strangeness, people doing bizarre and undescribable, in, with indescribable choices. Someone eating a strawberry in the snow. Local? First question now. Environmentally friendly, GMO. A person next to a lake with a device hooked up to the lake that recycles the water as a water park portable device quickly disassembled when the vehicles show up and write tickets hypothetically it's like min it's like a minion the minions just disappear the minions just disappear the minions just disappear You can't reduce a person's water intake to control how much they drink, to save and preserve, and not consider what's going to happen to the body and especially the brain. And then how much added energy that's going to take from the mind. Controlling the thirst and withstanding the cravings. And not solve the problem with water. You've got a problem, for an example, with climate change. People are using their cars too much. People are burning oil too much. People are doing lots of stuff, lots of choices, lots of decision making in large quantities. The, the quantity getting taken away turns that monkey into a hungry, food looking animal, turns a human into a bored, lonely, sad, and depressed 
single, maybe even cancer surviving prisoner in a place like Seattle, Washington, not having a job when the good times are now. And sure as heck, not having optimism and hope for when stuff are scary like now. People need to understand what they're doing, not understanding why they're doing it. In saying to someone, why you're doing that is hurting the world. Driving their kids around and meeting friends for a night out and partying and having an SUV, having too many lights on. People need stimulus for different reasons. People need to understand what they're doing. And then why they're doing it has more to do with social stuff. Well, gosh, they haven't, they haven't, uh, you know, had a girlfriend or boyfriend in 40 years. They haven't uh, had a friend for 10. And people pick on the person. People bully the person. What a person is doing has to do with the brain and the body and maybe even a mind. Behavior comes from this system with these processes, language, an eye blink, and a voice. But trying to describe what these are doing now, the voice, the eyes blinking, the hands, the behavior, the gesture, has more to do with what a person has decided. In fact, has been a decision made by the other human less freedom more information more data more rules more restrictions more regulations more knowledge what my body is doing trying to explain with my brain down to earth a video I'm making now and my mind is trying to keep my eyes forward to make sense to a viewer and my brain wants more stimulus, caffeine, to help out the process for me now. The same question though asked to a psychiatrist, psychologist, mental health professional, what's their evaluation of me now? Well, the eyes are a little dilated. The teeth look like they, well, maybe he was drinking coffee. Probably, probably Yeah, yeah, they can't, you know, the behavior is just too erratic. 
The behavior just really makes, I mean, look at the behavior now. This, this train of thought could go on for an hour, a whole stand-up comedy explanation. And more time wasted. And especially now, time wasted not appreciating the stimulus available now. A pretty breeze and some sunlight for the consciousness. Some fresh cold brew coffee for my brain. Food in the refrigerator for my body. A technology device with movies, music. A front door to my house. I can walk out. And go get the cheese I need to make the bread for dinner. Choices and decisions. Not stimulus craved emotional binges. Slow, steady and, and peaceful options. And the stimulus starts to regain its benefit, motivating and inspiring and giving air to the lungs and energy to the brain to think and do and solve the problem with the coronavirus, to cure cancer, to get accepted into medical school or maybe just to meditate. The world's always been stimulated from the old west days to the prehistoric days. People having babies, people killing animals and having big feasts and people drinking liquor and beer and riding horses and selling moonshine out of their backyard. They were having fun. They were enjoying life in so many words. and not paying attention to speed and what someone tells them. Unless they get arrested for selling booze and they shouldn't have or they get into some sort of argument over a horse hoof and get into a showdown gunfight. And there's people saying, well, you need to go or you're going to get into a fight or you need to, you need to stop selling that stuff or you're going to prison. And now with the speed reduced, the slow pace of time. and stimulus are slowly reaching the brain and satisfying the body and resting the mind now the end